good to exercise it. The, the thing oh, okay. is, it should be exercised about once a month. I always encourage people to uh, turn it on. If you're going to fly into a light rain shower or something like that, yeah. it's a great opportunity to flip on the TKS system. Just make sure all the panels are getting wet and you're actually leaking fluid onto the wings. Yeah. And when you go through the light rain showers, it'll wash it all off. But it is good to exercise the system once a month because behind those panels, behind those um, titanium panels, it's kind of like a neoprene sponge. So what happens is uh, if you don't run the TKS system off then enough, you run the risk of drying those sponges right out and yeah. they'll crack. So it's good for them to stay uh, supple. And you can also see the endurance levels that that amount will give you in, in yeah, hours norm. and minutes. So from full, there's, there'll be 36 liters in this tank when it's yeah. full. You'd be three hours of endurance on normal, an hour and a half on high, and about 45 minutes with both pumps going in Delta max. So those, those good. different Everyone's flow rates. That's enough to fly through an area of night icing. Yep. So. Really, yeah. just a system yeah. designed to get you in and out of a, an icing condition. Yeah. So start turning the valve on. Yeah, this is all you do to turn on the flow of O2 to the system is just pull this cable out, and then you monitor your pounds of uh, O2 in the bottle on that gauge. And there's another gauge exactly the same as that one in the nose of the aircraft beside the filler. So, plug that in. The oxygen saving scale, and I just put it on 18 so you don't have to adjust it. It takes four. Put the little white ball on 18. Which is right there. Just kind of a one time deal. Oh. And you're back on the gas. There you go. So you're yeah. good. And your fingernails turn pink again, and all kind of good things happen. Like the sound of that.